Hello everybody, so I wanted to do a quick video talking about a few things. Um, first of all, I've been asked a few times about how I shampoo my hair, and I'm not, I wanted to do just a quick little something about that. Um, so, this is how I shampoo my hair. This little bottle I got from Sally's. It's a little bottle like, like a, when you apply hair color, when you mix stuff in. This is what I use to shampoo my hair. Basically what I'll do is, you see these little ounce markers on the side here? You see I'll put it in about two ounces, maybe three, of shampoo. So about two ounces of shampoo. And I'll put in about three ounces of water to make about a five ounce mixture. Put my finger over the little hole, mix it up. And that's usually how I do my shampoo mixture. And then what, I'm, what I do with this is when I shampoo my hair, there's actually some stuff in there still, I don't want to put my hair. But I'll put this tip directly onto my scalp when I'm washing my hair. So that way, when I wash, the shampoo is getting directly to my scalp as opposed to putting a big glob of shampoo directly on my hair and trying to work it into my scalp, which is just a waste of shampoo. Also, most shampoos are just too strong anyway, so I like to water them down. Now, the thing about this is, it also depends on the shampoo. This is Herbal Essences. It's Hello Hydration. It's a moisturizing shampoo. It's really good, but it is also really thick. It's really thick. So for this shampoo, I might make it a little bit more water to shampoo ratio because this shampoo is really thick. As opposed to say this shampoo, this is a color protecting shampoo. This one's actually a little bit thinner. So this one I might just do half and half. I might do three ounces of water with three ounces of shampoo. So it really depends on the shampoo, depends on the thickness. But either way, it's going to get watered down in this little bottle. And I also do the same thing for, for the um, conditioner. But for the conditioner, it's, you know, usually two ounces, two ounces of conditioner to like four ounces of water. The conditioner is naturally thicker. I don't use it too much, though. But that's a nice segue into my next topic, which is conditioner. <laughs> um, I've been locked for seven years. I have braid or type 4BC hair. Basically, I'm a black girl with nappy hair. I've had locks for many years. Do you think I'd be okay to use conditioners? Not so. Let me show you some of my locks here. If I can find them. Of course, I can't find them now. Um, so, like this one right here. I went on a rampage because I hadn't been treating my hair as well as I should have. And I use conditioners with every shampoo for like a month. I would shampoo like once a week. And I conditioned every time I shampooed. Beside my regular leave-in conditioner that I make. And my locks started to like get puffy and like start to unravel like you can like see through this lock there's like more of them I can't find them of course right now there's like a ton of them I can't find them right now of course but like yeah like like this one right here this one right here you can see it's unraveling a little bit but like using conditioners on my hair repeatedly makes my hair unravel. As as far along my journey as I am, as coarse as my hair grade is, my hair is still unraveling when I use conditioner too much. So, you know, it's just something to think about. You know, I don't know about people who have a looser curl pattern, they get really frustrated with the hair slipping with the conditioners, and it's like, it's, it's something that's always probably gonna happen. I thought I was safe from it. I thought, you know, I have nappy hair, I'm, I'm good. My hair is locked. It's set. No, my hair was still starting to unravel. And I mean, I don't know if that's just because this is the, um, like from here pretty much down is like the palm rolled sections. I don't know, maybe because it was palm rolled. It's not as tightly compacted as the latch section, section is. Is that why it's un unraveling? I don't know. All I know is that my hair was starting to unravel. Like little bits and clumps were falling out from the, like this one too. See this one right here. Little clumps were falling, starting to fall out of the tips and I'm, the ends were becoming unsealed. I was freaking out. But, um, yeah. That's what happens when I use too much conditioner when I wash. I can still use my leave-in products. I still have a leave-in conditioner that I use. That seems to be fine. But I am staying away from the conditioners for a while. The, for the shampoo, the wash-up conditioners. Which is a pain in the butt because I have all these shampoo conditioner sets that I buy. So now I have, like, seven conditioners laying around and no shampoo. Whatever. Um... And the third thing I wanted to say to everybody is a big fat thank you. I was looking at my subscriber page the other day and I had like 245, 247, somewhere around there subscribers. And it's just a big um, honor for me because when I posted that first video 11 months ago about coloring my locks with henna, I was just, you know, I thought it would be a one-off thing. I didn't really think much of it. I always felt like everybody knew more than me about everything about locked hair and I felt like I had nothing to offer. And um, everybody here has made me feel very welcome, and 
I really love the questions and the comments that I get, and I feel really honored that you guys subscribe to me. And I want to just say a big fat thank you to everybody, to all my subscribers. And that's pretty much it. All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye-bye.